You've seen poker before, but never like this. You ready? I don't play by the book. I'm looking to dominate. One-on-one, -on -one, 64 players, four brackets, single elimination. The game's biggest names playing for a title like no other. This is the coolest event ever. It's just you against that player, and you try to prove you're the better player. A lot of money at stake. World champion, world champion. The best of the best. The great players come out, baby. Welcome to the National Heads Up Poker Championship. That was a crazy game. Welcome to the National Heads Up Poker Championship presented by Michelob Amber Bach. The Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino in downtown Las Vegas where fans lined up hours before the first match to get close to poker's rock star elite. And inside the pavilion, 64 of the game's best, each starting with 20,000 in chips are ready for first round action. Hello everyone, Matt Vaskersian alongside Gabe Kaplan and at the featured table, it's poker's most revered player, 71-year-old Doyle Brunson. He's playing one of his oldest and toughest opponents, Billy Baxter. Who looks down at an 8-9 off suit. He raises $400 here, Matt, makes it 600 Oh, and Doyle looks down at pocket 10s. That's four more. First end of the tournament, he's not going to raise. He wants to see what's coming here. Doyle's deciding to take a flop. Flop comes out a pair of eights and an ace, and wow. Billy has flopped a set. Billy has flopped three eights. He's betting here, Matt, because he hopes Doyle has an ace, and if Doyle does have an ace, Billy uh, would win a big pot. That hadn't been the first hand, buddy. You've been, you've been scoot, Bill. Doyle lays down his tens, and Billy takes down the pot. Yeah, that ace concerned Doyle. You'd have done real good if you'd played it. Come on, though. You can show your cards, by the way. <laughs> you'll, you'll get to see them. You didn't have the best hand. What I swear to God. Huh? You had a big pair? You'll see it. I don't swear to God, you will be. Don't just look at the lie, because I'll... No, because you'll see it. Yeah. He's not lying, Dolly. He's telling the truth. You would beat and beat badly. The game is No Limit Texas Hold'em. There are two forced bets called blinds, which are used to initiate action. Each player receives two individual cards face down and eventually five community cards face up. There are four betting rounds in which players may bet part or all of their chips. The best five-card poker hand wins the pot. 64 of the top players in the world in a format unique to any other televised poker event. And, and Gabe, what's the player's approach to this tournament? Well, usually when you start out in a tournament, you have nine, ten players at a table. You have a chance for your heart rate to slow down a bit, for your adrenaline to ease up. Uh, this isn't going to happen here. This is like uh, starting a NASCAR race with one lap to go. Great range of player, a great range of style represented at this event. Some of the younger players, guys like Chris Moneymaker, Greg Raymer, all the way at the other end of the spectrum, the true legends, the greats, guys like John Chan and Doyle Brunson. Is there an advantage to be had with any particular type of player? I don't think so. You're going to see the fast players playing fast, the deliberate players being delivered. The thing that's exciting for us is, is the final two, every table, every time, lots of action. You can go out on any hand. Well, there's one guy we do not expect to go out early. T.J. Cloutier is a familiar name and a tournament specialist. And there's a Scotty Wynn playing on an outside table. He owns four World Series bracelets. That's Barry Greenstein. He's been dubbed the Robin Hood of poker because he donates every dollar of his tournament poker wins to charity. And there's the oldest player in the tournament, 81-year-old Henry Ornstein, an inventor. Henry created the first poker table with cameras. Much more on all these players as we follow them in the first round, but now back to our feature table with Doyle Brunson and Billy Baxter. These two have been longtime friends and longtime adversaries.
I've been playing for 50 years, and that's pretty unusual for a professional poker player to be able to last that long. 21 years ago, they did a, an article in Sports Illustrated that had Doyle in it, and I just thought it was ironic that we would draw one another. Well, the first book that I wrote was in 1976, uh, Super System. In the immortal words of George C. Scott and Patton, I read your book. <laughs> so, you know, Super System's such a great book. Actually, I read the book when it first came out. I had to change my way of playing simply because I wrote that book, because uh, I preached in the book about uh, an aggressive theme, you know, and so everybody always thinks I'm bluffing now. We've gone at each other in so many directions, sports, poker, whatever, so many times. Uh, we'll both be out there trying to win, so uh, it'll probably be a slugfest. These guys will bet on anything, Matt. They've had several bets on how much weight they could lose. I don't want to say who won those bets. <laughs> Doyle, with chip advantage, looks down at a suited 10-8. Not a bad hand. He's going to put in a little raise here. Not Raises to 900. Deal. And ace-queen for Billy Baxter. Better hand. You can see the numbers, the percentages oh, right. that indicate each hand's chance of winning the hand if played all the way through. And Billy is going to put in a raise with his ace-queen, so it's all raised. Billy's re-raising. And Doyle calls, so we will see a flop. Flop comes out jack, a seven. Billy flops a pair of aces. Yes, and Doyle Brunson has flopped a straight flush draw. With a nine of spades, he would make a straight flush. This is a big hand 55. here. Billy bets 5,500. And Doyle moves all in. Not surprisingly. Yeah, too much money in this pot. Yeah, Billy's figuring out that he's got a lot of money invested in this pot already. Probably going to make him call. <laughs> all right, I guess I got to call him. There yeah, he Billy goes. does call. Yep. Can you beat a 10 high? Hmm? You got a little bit more than 10 high, Doyle. You have a straight flush draw. Again, Doyle's got Billy covered here. This is a potential elimination hand for Billy Baxter. Right, if Doyle can catch a spade or a nine. Turns a two of hearts. Doyle still needs nine. a spade or a nine. Calling for that nine. River brings a seven of clubs, so the pair of aces hold up for Billy Baxter. He avoids early elimination and claims the lead here on the National Heads Up Poker Championship. The night before the tournament began, players, fans, and media gathered at the Golden Nugget for the Razor Magazine Draft Lottery. All 64 player names were tossed in the tumbler and then pulled out one at a time to determine regions and first-round opponents. Players filled out their brackets March Madness style, and after 62 names had been selected, we were left with one especially interesting first-round matchup. Mr. Henry Orenstein. Henry's saying bring it on, Chip. Where are you? Well, this way I can lose. If I lose, I lose against the best. If I win, I beat the best. And that's a compliment to you, Chip. Get on up here.